Do I look that way? Whatever I want. Okay, we'll start with Rob Dawson. Hi, Ollie. Uh, um, Hi, Rob. Hi. You, you, you've obviously you, you've not lost many games in the league this this season, but maybe you've, you've drawn a, f a few more than you would have liked. Does does that maybe just point at maybe a couple of missing pieces, but not being that far away in general? Well, you can say that we've. Uh, I think we've uh, compared to last season, we've won a few tight games more. You, we, we won uh, we won many games towards the end of the game. I think our fitness has been really good, and second half today as well looked. Like we uh, we looked strong athletes. I was really I really liked what I saw out there. We dominated. We played in their half, kept them away from our goal, or even from our half, really. So really happy with that. But we just today we just didn't have the the the, the moments. We didn't take them when we had them. And uh, draw is uh, disappointing because we we wanted to put pressure on City, but unfortunately we we couldn't score. Hi Ole, um, there was a banner that went overhead just before kickoff, uh, saying two billion stolen glazers out. Were you or the players aware of it? Did it affect the preparations at all for the game? No, I wasn't aware, uh, and I don't think any of the the boys uh, have seen that. So uh, uh, we've we focused on the game. The the the. Every single one down to a T this week. Of course, it was a difficult week, but uh, the focus toward to prepare uh, prepare for this game has been really good because it's a unique style of play to play against. And I thought thought we played well. I'm Simon. Can't see. So yeah, there. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Just, just on that, Ollie, are you concerned that the rest of the season is going to be almost dominated by what happened last week and talk of the owners, and that will detract from from the big games that you've got to play between now and the end of the season? You know, I'm I'm really uh, happy with the boys' focus. They have such a determination to finish the season strong. Of course, the European. Uh, uh, disappointment. That was the last game of last season. That's that that still sticks in their uh, minds and hearts. So uh, we're very very focused to do well against Roma, of course, and then we got Liverpool in between. So not worried about that at all. Stuart Rayner. No, sorry, Mike McGrath. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Mike. If I could ask a couple, please. Um, yep. Firstly, with um, we, we were in a position where we could hear Harry Maguire have a real pop at some of his teammates using some industrial language. Is that the uh, kind of leadership qualities where you, where you can have a... It's, it's not just about cajoling people, it's about having, having a pop at them when, when needs be as well. We have got a group that demands a lot of each other. The standard is uh, is high, both in training and in the game. And of course, we, you know that it's not just about being a nice guy and, uh, as you say, controlling each other. We uh, we demand maximum effort, and I, I thought I was really proud. You know, the second half, how strong we looked, and how how much we dominated the possession, how much we did the. The regains, how quickly we won the ball back, and I, I never felt that they tr threatened our goal uh, at all second half. So, but of course, it's it missed a little bit today. With a, we missed a little bit of a, spy, a spark and a, the extra bit to win the game. And you had one more, yeah. Uh, uh, I know it's been a strange season um, in, without the crowds, but now you're within sight um, of being invincible away. Um, is that something really that you'd be proud of and something to aim for in the in the last bit of the season? Uh, it's really it's a it's a good achievement, no matter where uh, if there's fans or not, no fans with the 24 or 23 or 24 games without the defeat. So. I think the players have uh, prepared well for these games. We travel, we uh, the work by the coaches. Every game is is really really good. It was planned down to a T, and um, gotta say uh, we hope hope it continues because we have got big games coming up. 
we want to take as many points as possible. Martin? Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Um, the, the club Hi. are going to be part of a social media blackout. Um, can you reiterate why and also how damaging the, the abuse people suffer on social media can be? Yeah, you know, uh, I think we we launched our own campaign, See Red campaign, uh, not long ago, where you, if you see something, you you report it. Uh, it's it's important that we uh, we stick together on this and players, uh, staff, uh, kids. You know what's happening on social media. That the type of abuse and discrimination is absolutely disgusting, and it's so important. And I thought uh, Patrick Bamford last week was was really good. Uh, we we uh, it, it's something that we really need to address and stop, uh, or at least affect as many po- as possible. And this is our way of doing it. And uh, I'm proud that uh, our club have uh, started their own uh, campaign as well. Ramesh, hi there, Ollie. Um, hi. You've constantly talked about progress with with this Manchester United team and you've now got more points already this season than you got last season do you see the the basics there and the the foundations there for a sustained title challenge where you can really challenge the likes of City next season you know we've we've taken baby steps in the way we play um, in the way we train in the way we uh, uh, the, the fitness, you know, the coaches, the, the work that's being done um, on the training ground, it's been been planned, and we haven't been able to, or we we have we have been able to just put layer by layer by layer, as I've said. And now we feel very confident going into every game, um, trusting our way of playing, and that's a big big thing for us to to know that whoever we play against, we have our own way of of dealing with the opponent. Of course, there's little tweaks here and there. But uh, uh, yeah, with uh, with an addition or two, of course, we keep on strengthening this squad, uh, keep on training hard. You know, the second half today, I, I, I've got to say again, uh, I've, I've not seen many teams in the second half dominate as much as we did against Leeds because they are so fit and strong and the uh, in- intensity of their play has been so good. They steamroller teams, but I felt we, we almost did that to them second half. Okay, last question from Carl Anker. Good afternoon, Can Hi, Carl. Talk a little bit about that spark that you've mentioned before and how you constantly try and find it. You use words like layer by layer and baby steps. In that second half, when your performance is going so well, were you any way inclined to go with an earlier substitution? I know Paul Pogba was most likely fasting for Ramadan. Is that why you kept him for a bit later on? You know your uh, your, your religion as well, uh, so. Uh, uh yeah it's you know I, I thought the foundation of of the play was uh, was really good the fitness uh is it is a really big thing and of course uh Paul has got the quality uh, we were just thinking could we have gone a little bit earlier maybe but then again uh, I thought Dan James did did really well he had maybe he had two of the three biggest moments in in our uh, in their half so uh didn't feel uh, that I had, could take him off too early. Uh, Marcus felt good with his foot, and I thought he was a thorn in their side as well. So, and Mason, he was probably the cleanest of the, of the lot with the ball, because I thought he was excellent today. So, um, but Paul, he came on and he almost created something, and it just the pressure we built second half pleased me. Uh, of course, we we should have scored. Uh, to, to win the game. Uh, unfortunately, Bruno's finished just outside the post. Dan didn't uh, pull, pull the trigger when he could have. So, uh, moments that could have won us the game. Okay, thanks everybody. Good. See you later.